Hello, I have another geometry project to share with you today. We are working with our Waldorf curriculum from Live Education, and when we got to this lesson on angles and degrees, we decided to do this with watercolors. And so for this project, you will need some watercolor paper. We're using 90 pound watercolor paper. You will also need a compass and a protractor and a pencil and a ruler. So I've cut down my paper to nine inches and I'm going to be using Distress ink pads for my watercolors. And you could use any watercolors you'd like. So the first thing I need to do is find the center of my paper. And I'm just going to line up this ruler on either side or either corner. And I'm going to mark in the middle. And then where my two lines meet is where the center of the paper is. And so I'm going to line up my um, compass in the middle and I'm just going to rotate the paper in order to make the circle. I find it it's a little bit easier to do it that way. And so now I need to um, find the midpoint on each side which for this paper is four and a half inches and then I can connect each of those points so that I can divide this circle into four different sections. So at this point you could stop here and just have it be um, 90 degree angles, but we want to get some smaller angles in here as well as an obtuse angle. And so we're going to have three 30 degree angles and this 10 degree angle really should have been connected with the 90 degree angle below it to make an obtuse angle, but I do make a mistake and I end up um, leaving that there and so I have to fix my mistake later and I'll show you how I do that. So I'm using an embossing pen and some black embossing powder so that I can have these lines um, be raised so that when I add my watercolors, they will stay in each of those different sections. So I'm just adding my embossing powder here and it sticks to wherever I wrote with that pen. And then I'm using my heat tool to set that embossing powder. And the embossing powder allows you to fill in these sections really quickly, really easily without any of the color moving into any of the other sections because it provides like a little raised um, plastic barrier. So here's where I meant to do a 100 degree angle. And so I'm just going to color in both sections, that 10 degree angle and that 90 degree angle with blue in order to make that obtuse angle. And this is what it looks like when it's all finished. And then I can go back in and add the angles when it's dry. So now my eighth grader is going to go in and do his project. And he begins the same way by finding the center of the page and then using his protractor to do a circle. And he's just trying to make sure that he gets the largest circle possible for this eight inch piece of paper. And then he goes about marking off four quadrants to make 90 degree angles. So he colors in his first quadrant in purple, and now he needs to figure out how to get the rest of the angles. And it takes him a minute to figure out how to use the protractor, and he's going to try to figure out how to get his obtuse angle. And he's not quite sure where to draw it, and finally he figures it out, and he's going to draw this 10 degree angle and combine it with the 90 degree angle, and that's how he's going to get his obtuse angle. Then he's going to find the 45 degree angle and the 35 degree angle and then the three 30 degree angles and he colors them in um, in the same colors that I did the example in only he's just using color pencils and so once he's done coloring it in his project is finished so it was uh, a lot faster and a lot easier than using the watercolors. So now my fourth grader is going to do his project, but he is going to use watercolor pencils. So he's going to go about it the same way, marking off these different angles, and I do help him quite a bit more because this uh, lesson is mainly intended for my eighth grader, but as always, my fourth grader participates wherever he can. And for him, this geometry lesson is more artistic and a more artsy and more fun than the actual math lesson that I'm trying to teach my eighth grader. But that's okay because I always find these to be great introductions to um, the lessons that will follow in the future. And for his, he's just going to add water to the watercolor pencils and it makes a really beautiful finished project. And so this is what it looks like when it's all dry. 
And here are some of the other um, projects that we did. We all did two of them because it's just too much fun. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this project and you want to see some of the other projects that we did using watercolors and geometry, you can click the right side of the screen. And if you want to see some of the math games that we've incorporated into our math curriculum, you can click the left side of the screen. And if you're on a mobile device, I will add the links to these videos in the description below. And as always, you can check out my website at pepperandpine.com. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm the fourth grader, and right now I'm going to start by doing the angles, and then I'm going to go back and draw the line, and I'm just going to erase that line, and then use my, um, I guess, embossing. sticking, embossing pen, and I'm going to emboss, um, I'm gonna like spread it around and then, um, and then I use my heat tool and emboss it and then I go back and color it. So the first one I'm gonna color purple and then after I do purple I do blue and then green and um, light green and then yellow and then after I do orange and then red and then I forget to emboss the outside so I do that and then this is a close-up of it thanks for watching